good morning students we are discussing on pavement design and highway construction we are talking on the construction of flexible pavement wherein in today's lecture we will discuss on water bound macadam that is a kind of material that we used to prepare the base course so let's start the discussion for the construction procedure okay the water bound macadam road consists of clean crushed coarse aggregates which are mechanically interlocked by rolling and the voids in the aggregates those voids are filled with the screenings and the binding materials with the help of the water the water bound macadam laid on the prepared subgrade sub base or the base course or you can also apply it on the existing pavement it can be used as a sub base course it can be used as the base course or even you are you can apply it on the surface course where the rainfall is not heavy such kind of road is more preferable a camber of 1 in 48 is given at the formation level of the subgrade as well as finished surface and when the rainfall is heavy in such cases the camber is provided as a 1 in 36 grade so the water can easily fall down now the thickness of each layer of water bound macadam is generally consist 7.5 cm to 10 cm so this thickness layer should be provided should be applied on the prepared base or prepared sub base course here the water bound macadam consists the mixture of few materials and those materials are coarse aggregate the screening material and the binding material wherein we can use crushed aggregates we can use the crushed slag overburnt bricks conker broken stones all this material we can use as the course aggregate while in the screening we should use the fine aggregates that will work as the filler material what filler material for the mixture because whenever you we are using the coarse aggregate the bonding between coarse aggregate are very weak they they leave some voids in between their joints and to give the strength to the road we have to fill that voids and so that we are applying the screening materials those are the fine aggregates okay with this mixture we must have to add the binder material that will give the bonding to the coarse aggregate as well as the finer aggregate joints so the binder material consists of fine grained material that is used for this kind of road to prevent the raveling of the stones whatever the binding material we are using for this kind of construction binding material should have the plasticity index between 4 to 9 when we are using this binding material for the surfacing course such binding material need not to be used where the crushable type of material like murang or the soft aggregate are used as the screening okay now let's move on to the construction method of water bound macadam road so to prepare such kind of road we must have to follow few steps and those steps are preparation of a foundation then after we have to give the confinement to the aggregates then we have to spray the aggregates then after rolling procedure is to be taken after rolling we have applied the screening material on that road then sprinkling on grouting procedure has to be adopted then after application of binder is followed 
and then the particular road should be kept for setting and drying. So let's talk in detail for these steps. So the step one that is the preparation of foundation for receiving the water bound micarta course. Well, the foundation for receiving the new layer of water bound micarta may be either the subgrade or the subbase course. Okay, now this foundation layer is prepared to the required grade and the camber. Okay, so it is also cleaned. So this layers, this foundation layer should be also cleaned from the dust and the loose materials. Any rust or the soft spots should be corrected and rolled so that the foundation should keep as a well dry condition. When the existing road is black top, the furrow are cut at 1 meter interval at 45 degree to the center line of the carriageway. Here the furrow is shown in the figure okay when they have provided a slight gradient or slight trigonometric layer nearby the edge of the road okay this kind of uh, construction will give the support will give the confinement to the adjoining structure okay now the next is the lateral confinement that we need to provide for the aggregate the need of confinement is just to bind the material within the construction area. Whenever we are spreading the aggregates, it should be in between, it should be within the construction area. Okay, so to give that support, we have to provide the lateral confinement. So if the aggregates are placed on the subgrade or the subbase, they are likely to be loosed and sometimes it come out under the load of traffic hence the aggregates have to be confined and this is can this can be done by constructing the shoulders to the thickness of the compacted layer of the water bound macadam road with the thickness of 7.5 cm the inside edge are trimmed and the in and it included area is cleaned of all the spilled material. So this is the procedure to give the confinement to the road. The next step is the spreading of coarse aggregate. The coarse aggregate should spread uniformly and evenly upon the prepared base in required quantities. Aggregates may be spread manually or it can be spreaded mechanically. Okay, if you are spreading the material mechanically, the grade motor grader should be used to spread the coarse aggregate. So can you can maintain the cross fall, you can maintain the grade of the pavement. Okay, and after spreading the aggregate, profile should be checked using the templates placed across the road about 6 meter apart here shown as here shown in the figure the water bound should be constructed in layer not more than 75 millimeter in the compacted thickness okay so this was the spreading procedure for the construction of water bound macadam the next step that is the rolling procedure once the spreading is done we have to compact that layer okay and for compacting that layer we have to follow the rolling procedure so after the spreading of coarse aggregate compaction is to be done by three wheeled power roller having capacity 6 to 10 tons the rolling should begin from edge with the roller running that is forward and backward until the edge have been compacted. The roller should overlap each proceeding wheel by one and half 
width ruling is stop only and only when the aggregates are partially compacted to permit the application of screening material so after compaction the last step after the compaction we must have to check that the aggregates are properly compacted in in a way that now we can apply the screening material so after the compaction or we can say after the rolling procedure the next step that is the application of screening after the coarse aggregates are compacted sufficiently the dry screenings are applied gradually over the surface fulfill the interstices in three or more application now dry rolling is continued as the screenings are being sprayed and then after grooming should be carried out so once after the compaction of coarse aggregate you have applied the screening material okay whenever you are applying the screening material we have to check that those material should be completely dry okay now you have applied the dry material now again you have to apply the dry rolling procedure so that those filler material will fix in the void that was generated by the coarse aggregate okay now after the after the settlement of fine aggregates the surface would be completely leveled and now this surface should be broomed so that the surface get cleaned okay now on that cleaned surface sprinkling and grouting procedure should be adopted the surface is sprinkled with the water swept and rolled now this wet screening are swept into the voids using the hand brooms okay now in addition the screenings are applied where necessary and then rolled till the coarse aggregates are well bonded and this procedure of giving the proper bonding between those aggregates is known as the grouting now the next step that is the application of the binder material okay now after the application of screening and rolling the binding material is applied at a uniform rate of two or more successive thin layer now after application of each binding material at each layer the surface is copiously sprinkled with the water copiously that means that the way it should be sprinkled homogeneously and the wet slurry swept with brooms to fill the voids this procedure followed by rolling with 6 to 10 tons roller and water is then applied that sticks to the roller okay after application of the binder material the last procedure that is uh, setting and drying after the final completion the water bound mica dump course is allowed to set overnight on the next day the hungry spots are located and then uh, they are filled with the screening or the binding material hungry spots that means there might be some voids left whenever we are constructing so those can be filled after the construction now the approximate loose quantity of quantities of materials required in meter cube for 7.5 meter compacted thickness of water bound mica dump for 10 meter square area so for this this 10 meter square area and 7.5 meter thickness so for 10 meter square area the coarse aggregate that we are using the volume is 0.9 to 1.07 meter cube 
the screening material are 0.18 to 0.21 meter cube and the binding material for the base cores are 0.06 to 0.09 meter cube so these are the steps that we have to follow to construct the water bound micarta road so with this we are concluding this lecture i hope student you understand the topic thoroughly thank you so much for your kind attention we'll see you in the next lecture